you probably manifesting generator and as I see you yeah you got a lot of things going on so you're already in your in your good design empowering women to reclaim their power through these sacred centers sacral sacred center that's definitely you're living the manifesting generator life as I see it okay you got uh, some plant medicine also backing you up holding retreats private sessions red tent moon lodge let the light of the world shine through you as you guide others to the healing peace Satnam. yeah that's basically manifesting generator so you are here to bring the sacral wisdom to a broad audience like to groups where you generate manifesting generators so you generate your own sacral energy and then you manifest it through words to to big audiences that's basically manifesting generator and i like i see you like you are it's it seems like on your on your image you are swimming in a lot of paint or something or so that's another manifesting generator thing is like doing one thing and thriving and then putting it down and then another thing and thriving and putting it down a manifesting generator is somebody that can go from zero to a thousand and make things happen like this um, the only thing I'll give you advice right now I was speaking at a workshop in the picture yeah that's it that's it that's it um, that's the perfect example of a really aligned generator doing what you love making it so the energy carries you other than being frustrated at a nine to five like whacking it every single day like uh, uh. my advice is don't speak if you're frustrated ever <laughs> so only speak if it comes from that sacral satisfaction arousal beautiful energy bubbly energy but if you're frustrated and you speak you can say i love you but if your body is frustrated that i love you is just gonna make everyone else frustrated in the room because you are such a powerful being manifesting generators are like top tier energy like uh influencing energy on other people so if if that same energy that brings the womb space for healing for holding space for other women if that's what you facilitate that means you're very powerful you can feel that you see the change in people that also means that if you're frustrated the same the same um, momentum of power is gonna influence people as well so yeah yeah don't be afraid to do 180s don't be afraid to just pull out out of whatever you're doing and start doing something else really follow that sacral and that sacral is gonna make sounds somebody's gonna offer you something and you're just gonna go mmm and you're just gonna be what where did that sound come from that's my sacral or somebody's gonna offer you something and or somebody's gonna come in front of you or a meal or a situation whatever it is and you're just not gonna feel anything coming from your womb space but then you maybe go oh but I should do this or I really need to prove to everyone that I'm capable of always presenting or whatever and then you get caught in a trap and that's gonna lead to frustration always follow your sacral always always follow your sacral and it's gonna be like a bodily you know when somebody turns you on and you just feel <clears throat> and then you don't know where the sounds are coming from or where the movement is coming from that's the sacral and that doesn't have to be in response to a person that turns you on it can be in response to life in general it's just a response to life in general like a lust for life or um, uh, you know like a small child when they're aroused they don't have their genitals developed they're not like oh, oh, or whatever they just they just have that natural inner child sacral buzzing I call it a buzzing because it's it I, I feel it as a buzzing I'm not a generator so I feel that very intensely when other generators are around me and I also feel very intensely when generators are frustrated it's like it's Oh my god. <laughs> so yeah.